So just because you know, I wanted to treat uh, Sonic the Hedgehog as a film. Uh, my inspiration comes from each graphic, you know, each stages. So if I can see a red color, so my music's gonna be like a, you know, a volcano stuff. Or if I can see an Iceland, you know, I wanted to create a kind of icy music. So my inspiration come, came from visual or graphic. At the same time, uh, the Mega Drive system, the sound system is very limited. Maybe we could use four sound or at the same time. So it's, it was really, really tricky, you know. But that limitation, you know, uh, inspired me a lot. With the test versions of the game looking good, Sega were growing in confidence that Sonic the Hedgehog would be the game that could really give the Genesis the boost it needed by showing off the truly cutting-edge hardware the console had for the time. ま、when I saw a very, very early version of Sonic. Graphics were half done, just part of the first Green Hill Zone. And it looked interesting from a different distance because it was so bright. But once I got up closer to it, they started going and moving Sonic around, having him roll up into a ball and then start moving. And it was like, I had never seen speed like that. やろうって言って割と早くしていたりした瞬間があるので、その時の確かに気持ち悪くなったりはしましたね。なので、そういった意味ではこうスタートする瞬間だったりとか、その後の流れてるところとかの調整みたいなのはその当時やった覚えがあり
they were, I mean, it's young kids, kids as young as three to as old as 50 or 60, playing and loving the character. To build a buzz about the upcoming Sonic, Sega had an idea for a more direct but high-risk marketing strategy. I believed in being very aggressive in marketing. I believed in taking Nintendo on, head on. So one of the challenges that we had when marketing Sonic is we wanted to go directly up against Mario and we wanted to do that in TV. Uh, we created very competitive TV ad comparing Nintendo game and Sega game side by side with price tag attached to it. And we knew that the minute we would televise a commercial against Mario, that Nintendo would require that we pull the TV spot. Tom and the marketing team asked me, uh, do you think uh, this will be uh, acceptable to the Japan management? And uh, I scratched my head and thought about this and uh, uh, decided not to tell the Japan management until only a few days before we air. And in case they said, you can't air this, stop it, um, I was thinking to tell them that I tried to stop it, but I couldn't stop it in time. It was. Um I think pretty innovative on our part to throw pretty much all of our media dollars against that one night worth of TV. Sonic the Hedgehog, more action, more speed. Sega Genesis, it's a whole lot more for less. Sonic the Hedgehog was released in June 1991, and the reaction was remarkable. People had never seen a game like it before. So why did Sonic's creation resonate with the public in the way that it did? Sonic was appealing for a number of different reasons. First of all, he just has a beautiful simplicity to him. Clean lines, just a gorgeous set of colors, the blue and the red tennis shoes. But secondly, he really communicated the power of the game just by looking at him. When you see those red tennis shoes, you just assume he can run fast, and he did. And his spin attack made it appear as though nothing could defeat Sonic the Hedgehog. And then the attitude at the end was just kind of the perfect topping. 僕が初めてソニックを触ったのはジェネシス、えー、メガドライブの時ですけれども、ソニックザヘッジホグというオリジナルタイトルです。で、その時はそのゲームのスピード感とあとはやはり音楽が持つキャッチーさ、そこに惹かれました。I was really taken by the speed and the feel of the game, and Sonic the Hedgehog just felt Terrific. It was easy to play,、uh, it felt good to play, and the speed was just remarkable. I'd never seen a character move that quickly across the screen, and it was like magic back in those days. He had an edge to him. He wasn't your laid back, soft,、uh, nice guy. He had a little bit of edginess to him and a little bit of、uh, smart assness to him, if you will. And I think that made him very appealing to、uh, kids and, and teens. <laughs> まあ、まず第一印象かっこいいと思ったんですねあの青いあんな小さな刀身のキャラクターですけどもあれが動いてる姿を見て本当にかっこいいでこれが本当に家庭用ゲーム機なのかって驚いたぐらいあのすごい強い印象を受けましたセガ felt that Sonic was going to be a hit Tom Kalinske felt Sonic's surefire appeal presented Sega with an innovative opportunity The thing we had to do first and foremost was sell a lot of hardware. Because otherwise, how are you going to sell a lot of software? If you don't get a lot of hardware out into the homes, you really had no chance of creating a marketplace with、uh, follow on software. Tom and I went to Japan and sat down in the big Sega Japan boardroom with over a table with perhaps 30 board members and other executives and explained our strategy. That is,、uh, we lower our price from $189 to $149 when Nintendo was offering the Super Nintendo at $199. And on top of that, we wanted to bundle、uh, our software, Sonic.